Hello students, uh, in this audio presentation I will continue with my discussion related with the chapter Ranga's marriage. I already started discussing this chapter in my previous audio presentation. Now let me continue from where I left in my previous audio presentation. Uh, we have some mango trees in our village. Come visit us and I will give you a raw mango from one of them. So I told you that his form of writing is very interactive as if he is interacting with his readers and most importantly he is inviting his readers to come and visit his village and uh, he would provide the readers with mangoes, raw mangoes. Do not eat it, just take a bite. The soundness is sure to go straight to your Brahma Randra. Now, Brahma Randra is actually the soft part that is related with the skull in the brain. Brahma Randra. I once took one such fruit home and a chutney was made out of it. All of us ate it. <clears throat> the cough we suffered from after that, it was when I went for the cough medicine that the doctor told me about the special quality of the fruit. Now it was so sore, so bitter that they made a chutney, the entire family had taken that chutney and after that the whole family suffered from cold and cough. At that time the author went to the doctor and at that time the doctor told him about the special quality of the fruit and at that time only he get to know about that Brahma Randra that particular part that is related with the brain and the skull. And also apart from that, the doctor told him about the uh, potential potency of soreness of this particular fruit. Now, dear students, I am moving on to the next paragraph. Just as the mango is special, so is everything else around our village. Not only the mango, the people are also special and other things that means apart from the people and apart from the raw sore mango, other things are also there that are also very special in our village. Now one thing is clear that I told you in my previous audio presentation also. I am repeating it once again so that you can remember it. I, I know very well you have remembered it. that. His main topic of discussion was related with Ranga's marriage, isn't it? But surprisingly, see, now not only he discussed about Hosahalli, he discussed about Gundavatta, the local doctor of the village. Now he is discussing about mango trees. And as we will proceed, you will get to know that he will, dis uh, he will actually discuss about lot more things. And that is not the real uh, real that is not the real theme the real theme of the real story is ranga's marriage but you will find that he is discussing some other things so let's continue we have a creeper growing in the ever so fine water of the village pond its flowers are a feast to behold actually behold means to look at get two leaves from the creeper when you go to the pond for your bath and you will not have to worry about not having leaves on which to serve the afternoon meal. It is better you can take one or two creepers back home after your bath is over so that you don't need any plate or dish. You can have your lunch in that creeper. You will say I am rambling. Rambling means going on babbling, going on saying many different miscellaneous things. I told you that he is interacting with the readers. So as if the readers are all sitting in front of him. So this line also suggests that. What I told you earlier. That is you will say I am rambling. It is always like that. When the subject of our village comes up. But enough. If any one of you would like to visit us. Drop me a line. If any one of you want to visit us. It's very simple. Just drop me a line means. Please write to me. The rest of the direction 
how you have to come to our village hosahalli i will provide you all the necessary informations that is what he is trying to say dear students so let me continue i will let you know where hosahalli is right now i told you about it and what things are like there the best way of getting to know a place is to visit it don't you agree now he is actually interacting as i told you and this is a very good proverbial ad advice that he is giving us that the best way to know a place is definitely by visiting it don't you agree definitely we all agree about it but if there is no location if there is no address if there is no specific location or specific address how can we visit a place like that now dear students uh, i am moving on to the next paragraph what am i i am going to tell you is something that happened 10 years ago we did not have many people who knew english then that means almost a decade earlier very few selected people in our village knew english not everyone our village accountant actually ranga is the son of this village accountant and ranga's father was very progressive and since the village accountant that is ranga's father was very progressive he sent his son to bangalore for higher studies what i told right now it is written here so let me continue our village accountant was the first one who had enough courage to send his son to bangalore to study it is different now there are many who know english but now 10 years later that means at the present time i am very proud to say that many many people know english during the holidays you come across them on every street talking in english during the holidays or during the weekends you will find that many people in our village they are conversing in english those days we did not speak in english not did we bring in english words while talking in kannar kannar is the local vernacular language so what the author is trying to say that previously we never included any english words or in or we never included any any english terms when we went on speaking with one another but now we speak fluently and even in the weekends also we speak in english so let me continue what has happened is disgraceful something that is very disturbing disgraceful means dear students something that is disturbing believe me now what was the incident that was very disgraceful or very disturbing let us come to that the other day i was in rama rao's house when they bought a bundle of firewood fuel wood or firewood that is this wood is needed for cooking purpose you know by this time rama rao's son came out to pay for it he asks the woman and here i quote how much should i give you four pies she said the boy told her he did not have any change now this word change was told by the boy to the woman not in kannar but in english and the woman got very very confused and asked her to come the next morning the poor woman did not understand the english word change and went away muttering to herself muttering means murmuring because she thought that maybe the boy told a slang term maybe because uh, she had no idea what does the word change is all about what exactly does it means i too did not know i means the author later when i went to ranga's house and asked him i understood what it meant but later i went to ranga's house and i asked ranga what does the word change means then ranga clarified me at that time so uh, dear students i stop my audio presentation right here in my next audio presentation i will continue from the next paragraph i am very hopeful that you have understood up to this the story and if there is any doubt kindly do clarify thank you students thank you all